Hello and welcome. I'm Yasmin Ahmed, lecturer at Dada Boy Institute of Higher Education. Today, we are going to talk about a waterborne disease that is known as cholera. According to World Health Organization, every year there are almost 1.3 to 4 million cases of cholera, and among these, almost 21,000 to 143,000 deaths have been reported quite alarming. The discovery of this disease is linked with the old hand water pump not in use nowadays. So first, I must let you know what is cholera. It is a diarrheal infection associated with eating food or drinking unsafe water. What we talk about unsafe water, it means it has having live bacteria or its spores in it that we cannot see. The bacteria involved is known as Vibrio cholera. If not properly treated, it kills suffering individuals within hours. The discovery of disease cholera and its linkage with unsafe drinking water is quite amazing. During the decade of 1850s, there was an epidemic of cholera in London and interestingly, disease was clustered based on people living around certain water pumps. The task of discovering the causative reason of cholera was given to an English physician named John Snow. John Snow did an amazing work. What he did was he removed the handle of water pumps in the area where he was suspecting that the cholera is spreading due to these water pumps. What happened next? We will let you know on the next slide. However, the disease was curtailed. Further investigations revealed that water coming from the peripheral areas was getting mixed with the hand operated water pump and that was basically causing the disease cholera. Thanks to the British physician, the great scientific investigation that today we know that cholera is caused by bacterium known as Vibrio cholerae. Now you know what the disease is. We'll teach you how to treat cholera as this is a bacterial infection. So logically, it sounds that antibiotic treatment should be the choice. However, antibiotic treatment of cholera has been helpful, but not really very effective. There are several other choice treatments that we will be discussing. However, oral rehydration therapy is considered one of the best treatments. There is a good reasoning for treating cholera with the ORS. During the disease, diarrhea is associated with severe loss of body water, several ions. Treatment with the ORS helps in regarding the body flow essential fluids, iron, including glucose needed for energy requirement. Cholera treatment is also associated with several other strategic measures, including promotion of social and cultural programs relevant to water education, good hygiene practices, educational initiatives, and awareness campaigns about the cholera disease pathogenesis, including precautionary measures to avoid getting cholera. Vaccines are also available for avoiding getting cholera disease and according to World Health Organization, there are three approved vaccines. These are Docerol, Shankol, and Uvicol. These are known as OCV or oral cholera vaccines. The World Health Organization and several other organizations caring about the global public health have programs for controlling this devastating and deadly infection. According to the 2030 Roadmap of Ending Cholera by the Global Task Force on Cholera Control, the objective is to reduce cholera death by 90% in 20 countries. Three important strategic measures identified include early detection, corroborated with quick response, multi-sectoral and highly focused approach, coordination between technology, resources, advocacy, and education. 
In the previous slide, I have talked about Global Task Force on Cholera Control. Let us discuss a bit about what this task force is. It is a network of 50 countries comprising of academic institution, non-governmental organizations, and United Nations agencies. As we have already discussed in previous videos that how we can avoid waterborne diseases by taking simple precautionary measures. This simple measure can go a long way leading to healthy lives of our loved ones. As they say that prevention is better than cure. Prevention involves several measures including better and effective surveillance of portable water, household water usage, proper drainage, social awareness to control water pollution in the environment, vaccination in the area prone to cholera. Be a part of the DIHE personalized educational program on safe water. Play your part. Be as learner, contributor, advisor. Do it for a community. This video is brought to you by Dada Boy Institute of Higher Education through scienceliteracy.net and is available on Biomed Global, a YouTube channel.